You don't need a thousand dollar grill to cook a million dollar restaurant quality brisket right at home. I did this on a cheap grill that my brisket was almost bigger than. What you will need is a high quality brisket. So this is a 14 pound prime brisket. I let my master butcher bill take about a quarter inch off the fat cap side and a lot less from the other side. Once your brisket is trimmed up, it's time for the most important part, which is seasoning. I'm using a homemade blend, but feel more than free to use your favorite store-bought blend. Once my brisket's all seasoned up, I like to stick it back in the fridge while I get my grill ready. I'm using lump charcoal. You could use briquettes. Either way, dump them into a normal-sized chimney and light her up. Once they're about 80% grayish white, everything's gonna be all right. Using this amount of coals plus one big chunk of wood at a time gives me a consistent temperature of 200 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about one hour and 30 minutes. Now, every grill is different, but they all have vents. Opening the vents makes things hotter and closing the vents cools things down. So when you drop on your brisket, make sure the thinner part is isn't closest to the fire. That's gonna burn and go dry much faster than the larger, fattier side known as the point. Now close your grill and for the first hour and 30 minutes, simply check on it flipping as necessary to avoid charring until it shrinks. Now you can see we have a little crust formation as well as some shrinkage. That crust is the beginning stages of what pit masters like to call the bark. Now that it's shrunk, you can move it far away from the fire where it can enjoy cooking low and slow. At this point, it's time to start spraying your meat with some type of liquid every time you check on it. For me, that was about once every hour. This is simply a mix of beef broth, apple juice, and apple cider vinegar in case you were wondering. For the next seven hours, I checked on it once per hour, spraying it and adding a full unlit chimney of coals right on top of the older ones that were clearly burning out. Once you achieve a bark that you're satisfied with, it's time to wrap it up. You could use aluminum foil, but I'm going with butcher paper as I found it always gives me better results with brisket. All I'm doing is adding a little bit of ghee or clarified butter to both sides then I wrapped her up and put it back on my grill. I cooked it for four more hours then I took it off and let it rest on my counter for one more hour. What I was left with was some of the most tender, juicy, and flavorful meat I've had in my mouth in a long time. Try this method at home and please let me know how it turns out.